Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss all the interview questions which is, has been asked recently by the interviewer. In this, we will be listening and seeing all the technical questions which has been asked to the candidates. So, let's get started. For the first student, these questions has been asked to them. The questions are, introduce yourself, remove duplicates in an array, what are the list? dictionary inheritance and the main question is tell me about the pillar of hopes and the last question was what are your strength and weakness now going to the second interview candidates questions he was asked tell me about yourself here and two three basic questions of c plus plus asked and the interviewer asked him to write the code check if the number is prime or not now the next question was in dictionary inheritance and the same question which has been repeated tell me about the pillars of hoops and the last question was explain your project in detail now for going to the third candidate he was asked tell me about your project he for this person the interview did not ask about his introduction so make sure that you should prepare well for each and every questions in everything now the first question was tell me about your project then Difference between function overloading and function overriding. For some students who don't know that it is also same function as method overloading and method overriding. It is two types of polymorphism. Now the third question was, what do you mean by operating system? Now fourth question was inheritance and the, tell me about the pillar of hoops. This question has been asked to every student who have given the interview in the cognizant. So you should work on it. Now the next question was, what do you want to join Cognizant and are you able to relocate? So make sure to prepare all the questions. From now on, we are going to discuss all the asked questions with their answers that they have been asked. So let's get started with this. From the first candidate, he was the Arjun Kumar. So these all are the simple answers. So make sure to remember it. The question was, hi, I am Arjun Kumar from Jaipur, Rajasthan. I am currently pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science from ABC University. I have a strong foundation in programming languages like C++, Python and Java. I have hands-on experience with web development and I am currently learning React.js and Node.js. I have worked on multiple projects related to data structure and algorithms. I love solving real-life problems through technology and I am passionate about AI and machine learning. I am always eager to learn new things and in my free time, I like to experiment with new technologies, read tech blogs to keep up to date with the latest development in the field of technology. So this type of interview makes the interview, the person who is taking interview, you will be impressing them with these. Now, the second question was remove duplicate scenario. So it was a technical question to, to remove duplicates from an array uh, i would use a set a set in python automatically remove duplicates here is the simple python implementation definition remove duplicates array return list set array so this converts the array into a set and then back to a list so this is totally ai generated answer so the question they asked you should give them properly approach how you approach that also it depends on the interviewer that in which language he is giving the interview uh, that for this person he is giving the interview in the python so you have to give the answer according to them but if you have if this question is same asked in the java or c++ then the implementation will be different now third question was what are lists so lists are ordered collection in python and they can store multiple data types you can access elements by indexing list or mutable meaning and their content can be changed after initialization. For example, my list 1, 2, 3, ABC and true. Here we can store different types of element in a list. Now the next question was, what is dictionary? A dictionary in Python is unordered collection of key value pairs. It is like hash map where each key is unique and value can be anything string integer list etc here is an example my dictionary name origin age and anything 
here name and age are keys and arjun and 22 are their corresponding values now the next question was what is inheritance inheritance is an oops concept where a class inherits properties and behaviors from another class this class code reuse reduce redundancy and make the code cleaner here is an example you can see and the dog class is inherited from animals. This is the example. You can check it and you can frame your example as you wish. Now, tell me about the main pillars of OOPS. So, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. These are the four main pillars. So, they have given the answer here. Now, what are the strengths and weakness? So, the perfect answer for this question will be my strength lies in a problem solving skills and the ability to stay focused under pressure. I enjoy breaking down complex problems into smaller manageable parts. As for weakness, I tend to overthink some problems and sometimes it's However, I have been working on improving this by managing time better. So here you can see that his strength is working. He can work under pressure. Yeah, he have he has shown the strength in their in the working with the projects mainly focused, and in the weakness he has shown that he is working have some problems, but he has been working in to improve that problem to manage it better. So you can choose the way uh, whatever you like to give a perfect answer for this question. Now coming to the second candidate. Tell me about yourself. So for this, hello, I am Ritika Sharma from Delhi, pursuing BTEC in Information Technology at XYZ College. I am proficient in Java, Python, web development. I have experience in backend development using Node.js and Express.js. I am working on improving my skill in cloud computing and machine learning. I enjoy solving problems, developing application, and keep it keen interest in real world on real world projects that can make an impact. I have also done a few internships that give me a practical exposure to project development and team collaboration. So in this introduction, you can see that she has managed the, uh, she has also put the internship that this give. It means a, it, it is an advantage for the interview who is a fresher. So make sure to add your internship if you have done anything. Now, she was asked two, three questions about C++. So she told me that one of the things she focused in memory management using pointers. Pointers are crucial for working with dynamic memory allocation. And it's something that I find both challenging and exciting. I also like exploring object oriented concepts such as classes, inheritance and polymorphism. So it depends on the every candidate that what they are being asked. Uh, every time that there will be not same questions so make sure to learn the common questions that is being asked and rest is on to you the next question was she was asked to write a code check if the number is prime or not so this is a basic question you can see the solution here every time the questions the technical questions related to coding are very easy you all should have practiced well so make sure to remember the approach of the question how it is being solved they will ask you to write in the chat pad or notepad so make sure to solve each and every question and you should know the approach because after writing the code you are going to explain them how you achieved this and make sure to solve the questions very easily and explain it now, next, the next question she was asked in Python, which is a dictionary, because in the introduction, whatever you will see, the question will be asked according to the your introduction or according to the CV. So she has mentioned Python. So the next question after C++ was in dictionary. So a dictionary is a Python is a collection of key value pairs, which we have read all these questions in the previous so we will be skipping this question also inheritance also you should remember all the questions you first of all you should focus on two things first is introduction and next is oops concept and the main four pillars of oops here is the same question they also ask the same question to this person 
so we are going to escape this question also now I explain project in detail so the whatever the project you have worked you should tell them and also i will be sharing the details in the end of the video how should you explain your project in the project you should follow a uh, follow from that from what are the main key objectives key learning points tech stack of the project and whatever you need so let's go from there uh, she replied that my final year project was a web based application to manage a student record it includes authentication, CRUD operations, and shorting features. The web backend was built using Python Django framework, and the frontend used GXS. It I also implemented a various such feature to easily filter student record based on various criteria. In the interviewer can also ask them questions related to project, like what are the challenges you faced during the project. So make sure to cover all these questions. Now. For the third person, he was directly asked about his project, not the introduction. So he said, told me that his first question was about his project. So the answer is, my project was a real-time stock market analysis tool built using Python and machine learning. The tool features fetches stock data from APIs and perform sentiment analysis on the stock news to predict market trends. I used library like Panda, NumPy, and Scikit-learn for data analysis and machine learning. So whatever the project you have done, you can explain them to them. The next question was difference between function overloading and function overriding. It is same as method overloading and method overriding. Some students cannot differentiate the basic difference. This so I am going to tell you that. Function overloading is when multiple functions have the same name but different in the number of types of parameters. Function overriding happens when a subclass provides a specific implementation of a method that's already defined in a parent class. Or you can say that in this function, the they have same name and same parameters in a same class. Now, what do you mean by operating system? So an operating system is a system software that manages computer hardware, software resources, and provides common services for the computer programs. It acts as an intermediary between user and the hardware, handling tasks like process management, memory management, and device management. Now, the next question was inheritance. So we have discussed this question, so we will be moving forward again. So this is also the same question. So I'm telling you guys that up ye question sarat lo tell me about the pillar of oops so good ke pizza ye question to aap sabhi now moving to the next it was a non technical question like what do you why do you want to join cognizant so this can be asked in the end of interview not every candidate has been asked the question but you should prepare well not only for technical questions but also for non-technical for HR questions. So the answer for this question was, I want to join Cognizant because of its global reputation, the exposure to cutting edge technologies and the opportunity to work on complex and challenging projects. Cognizant innovative work environment aligns with my career goals and I am excited to contribute to the company's success. You can frame it as you wish. This is AI generated. So you can frame the answers which suits you perfect. Now the last question was, are you able to relocate? Yes, I am open to relocation as it will give me chances to explore new places and grow professionally. I believe it will be great opportunity to broaden my experience. So guys, these are the questions and they are probably best answer that you can say to the interviewer. The interview questions are very easy. They are not that much difficult. So you can give it very easily. All the questions are same. Mostly all questions are all, all the questions are moving around OOPS concept and basic questions like in Python that dictionary, what is dictionary and give these all the answers properly. If you are willing, I will be providing more questions in the next video that has been asked to the candidates. You can 
think and uh, you can choose the common questions which is has been asked in the interview i will be providing this pdf in my telegram channel after this you can join my telegram channel and you can download this pdf so that you can check all the questions and answers it will be beneficial for you guys also don't forget to like and share this video thank you everyone if you need any support you can tell me i will be here to help you at any time thank you